Welcome to Dude RV. I do appreciate you stopping by and you got here right on time. Here comes a big truck. I'm hanging out on the coast, Galveston Island State Park. We're gonna do a scooter run through the bay side of the, of the campground. We got Little Red, the high speed mobility scooter. I got the GoPro Hero 9. Best of all, I have you. So let's cue up some music. Take a ride. If you're new to the channel, I, I, I ride a an electric scooter. It is a mobility device. And according to the Americans with Disability Act, I can choose my own mobility device. And so I choose a scooter it's got some get up and go Lil Red she's been much she's been modified some since uh, we met the way I can do what I do it never fails someone tried to stop me from operating my scooter today right here the nature center's closed. There is no vacancy in the campsite, but it sure looks that way to me. TxDOT has done a wonderful job making these roads very smooth so we can go really fast. I'll slow down when we get to the campground. The lady was trying to tell me that I couldn't operate my mobility device on the trails. According to the Americans with Disability Act, I can operate my mobility scooter anywhere bicycles or pedestrians are allowed. And to deny me that access is discrimination. There's not a whole lot down at the end of this road, but a, a trailhead. But I thought we'd check it out. Most of the trails out here are not going to be scooter friendly. But I do want to go out there to that platform. hard running against the wind that really drains the battery There may be a fishing area down here. I should have looked at the map.
whole bargain. All right, we're gonna have the wind at our back now. that wide spot for. I say that about every place I go. Because it's true. Stop trying. <laughs> We're breaking the law. Breaking the law. If you want to do a little bayside fishing, it's right here on the right is the designated bayside fishing location. We have a kayak launch on the left. Plenty of opportunities to launch a kayak. We're going to go all the way to the end of the road and then come back through the two camping loops and finish up at White Light, the Dude RV F-150 RV. There's your dump station. We'll fly through there at speed. Thanks to the tech stock, these roads are smooth. Some of the best pavement I've scooted on in a while. Now, on my last visit, seven years ago, my last visit, we stayed in the loop here on the left, and we're gonna go through that momentarily. But the end of this road was a boat ramp. And now that is all closed off, but you can rent some kayaks from the kayak rental outfit. And they have fish cleaning stations right there. These are the Bayside RV sites. Kind of weird the way they lay this out. Your, your fire pits are in the middle. Your charcoal grills are in the middle. At one time, or when I was last here, the bay actually came all the way up to the, to the edge. 
guess the hurricane changed that. The sights are all new and flat. Water and electric. One more point of interest. And we'll stop twice at that sign next time. All right. And this is the tent camping loop. Every site is almost identical. You have water at the back, a table with a little cover. Interesting thing is, that's the only restroom shower facility on this side of the park. There's three on the beach side. so much fun thank you for riding along with me and if you're still with me at this point I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button down there I produce this kind of content weekly I'm in a different place every week doing this with my scooter please click the subscribe that would make me happy and for those of you who have been following along <laughs> that's why I'm out here thank you I appreciate that opportunity and for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?